All right, let's dive into the intriguing art of effortless seduction. Now, here's the kicker. When it comes to seduction, the more you try to force it, the less it works. True allure comes from an effortless charm, a kind of natural magnetism that doesn't look like it's trying too hard. But here's the challenge. Modern dating is tougher and more competitive than ever. We live in an era of Tinder and Instagram, where everything is hypervisual, and it might feel like you need endless charisma, intense sex appeal, and a perfect body to have a shot with someone you like. But here's the good news. You don't need all that. Thanks to psychologists and researchers who've studied seduction down to a science, we actually know what works and what doesn't. Let's break down exactly how you can be irresistibly seductive in a way that feels natural. Number one, feel sexy from within. Seduction starts with how you feel about yourself. Do you ever glance in the mirror and think, who'd be seduced by me? If you don't feel seductive, it's hard to project that energy. We've all been there, feeling a bit awkward or out of place when we try to be alluring, but no matter who you are, you can be seductive. So, before diving into any techniques, remind yourself, you've got what it takes. Confidence in yourself is your starting point. Number two, confidence is key, but don't overthink it. Confidence can transform even the smallest move. But there's a catch. Overthinking it can make you come across as nervous or worse, unnatural. Seduction is a delicate dance. Imagine a bird doing a mating dance. One wrong move and the whole thing can fall apart. But remember, it should be fun too. Don't stress about looking perfect. If you mess up or make a silly move, embrace it, laugh it off, and keep the mood light. Letting go of self-consciousness helps you focus more on how your partner is reacting. Over time, the dance will feel more natural. Number three, learn what makes your partner tick. Seduction isn't one size fits all. The gestures or words that work like magic for one person might be a total miss for someone else. If you really want to dial up the charm, spend some time discovering what your crush enjoys and responds to. A whisper in the ear, for example, might be more powerful than a kiss for some people. Also, understanding the different approaches men and women tend to use can help. Research shows that women are more likely to use nonverbal cues, while men often use verbal flirtation. So, play to the types of signals your partner might recognize. Number four, be clear with your intentions. Dropping the occasional flirty hint isn't necessarily seduction. A lot of subtle cues fly right over people's heads. Try to be clear in your approach. Sometimes it won't work out. You may find that the feelings aren't mutual, and that's okay. Watch for cues that your advances are welcome. Are they responding positively, smiling, leaning in? That's a good sign. Remember, it's fine to feel a little awkward, as long as you're both having fun with it. Think of it like giving the other person a chance to play along or let you know if they're not interested. Number five, use your voice to set the mood. Your voice is a powerful tool. Studies show that people naturally lower their voice when speaking to someone they find attractive. Speaking in a warm, soft, inviting tone can be an immediate hint that you're interested. It makes the situation feel playful and invites the other person to respond. By initiating, you show control and confidence, and that itself can be very attractive. At the end of the day, true seduction comes from within. It's not about a strict list of moves, but embodying a natural allure that's confident and playful. Laugh at yourself, relax, and let it flow. And if you've got any tips of your own, share them in the comments. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe for more insights on psychology and attraction.